What's up? Welcome to another episode of Speed Sim. I'm E-House. I'm Amy. And today we have a product that we were very much looking forward to. We were really excited at SHOT Show. We were very hyped up. Yeah, we were excited. And uh, you know what? Not so much anymore. Yeah, uh, this is unfortunately not going to be a positive review, and I wish it was going to be. So we're talking about the Jag Arms scatter guns. Uh, if that's not immediately obvious. <laughs> it's probably in the title. But let's just go right to the problems. These things have really bad quality control. Yeah. Let, let's, let's start with the story of even just this one. So, um, as you guys know, I, I own a shop. Um, E-House had bought it from us. And immediately, as I got it, I wanted to make sure before I gave it to him, he's my friend, uh, before I give my friend, I wanted to make sure the gun even works. And I got it. The racker doesn't rack. Yep. That's all right. The pump was stuck. Yep, would not just, move. Doesn't work. It, I tried to like make it, I wanted to make sure that the safety was off. Safety was off. Didn't work. So I immediately had to get an RMA and send it right back to JAG. And we had to wait another two weeks for this to come in. Yeah. And uh, now I just got it in. And I played with it today, put about 15 shells through it over the course of uh, about half of a game day. And then at the end of the day, I was feeling pretty good actually, because it had worked pretty well in game. And then I go to do a shooting test, and the footage that you saw at the beginning of this happened. So the seal that actually takes the gas just blew, just immediately blew, f probably the Third time I filled this tank, and I'm not using anything crazy. I'm just using Nuprol green gas, which is a pretty standard green gas. I would say so. Yeah, I mean, they rate these things for green gas. They say they'll do green gas, but guess not. So that seal is blown, and I need to repair that immediately. And you have what model? I have the HDS, I believe. Yep, HDS. In black. Doesn't have the side saddle, though. No. I got the one without the side saddle because I use shotgun cards from STAC, and... I quite like the functionality of the gun. I like the feel. I like the mine, the rack, the pump works great. So the racking experience is very nice. But unfortunately, the gas system just didn't hold up on mine. Yeah, same experience as I. I have the um, the T T uh, the TSS with the side saddle and with the top rail, obviously. I put a little bit of accessories on it, and same thing with Eric. I. I filled this up maybe four or five times, playing around, trying to get it sighted in, trying to figure out what BBs, BBs to use it with. And another recommendation, um, I would use heavy BBs, two eights or heavier. Um, anything lighter, two fives or twos will not work. I mean, they'll work, but they will over hop like they, crazy. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty inaccurate. So recommendation, have your BBs. Uh, I'm using two eights in mine. Uh, I've done a bunch of modifications. I put a salamander on mine, but again, same problem, the gas doesn't hold. I have it now HPA tabbed, I gave it to my brother who's a tech here, and he put some car sealant on it and made it stop leaking permanently because I don't know what the problem is. I had this leaking so many times I had to take it apart about six or seven times within the last uh, two months that I've had this. I don't understand why. And you haven't even fielded it no, yet. No, I haven't even gotten to plank Just it. Just plinking with it. Just messing around in the, on, the tar on the shooting range. I don't understand, it's, it's, not, it's not fun. Yeah. And then there's the experience that a couple of our friends have had and a couple mm -hmm. other people who bought them. So uh, Chris, who you saw in the Parents Guide Airsoft video, he bought one and his will randomly, the pump will lock in the forward position yep. even after shooting. And if you jiggle it just right, you can get it to go back. Obviously, the issue then becomes that the thing just doesn't work reliably. So even though with .28s, this thing could reach out to like 100 feet yeah. with Two eights. Anything lighter, overhops oh, like crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Absolutely useless. You might have one or two BBs that are like twos or two fives where they'll go straight, but both of them, or two of them, just go straight up over the air. And it's crazy. They overhop yeah. ins insanely amount. It's crazy. And of course, you can turn it on to the six shot mode, but you need to have the gun work long enough to yeah. do that. Fun fact my six shot doesn't work. <laughs> so that's the thing. We're not talking about the features or any of the cool stuff about this gun, because what's there to talk about when it doesn't work? Yeah. There are so many other reviews and so many other videos that talk about, here's how the gun functions, here's everything that's nice about it. Well, in our review, four examples of these things that we've seen in our hands are garbage. Yeah. I mean, again, like I said, uh, I have a shop and I've gotten 12 of these in and about, uh, half of them always come broken, so I always have to send them right back. I just, the quality of control is terrible. Jag, and then the quality of the seals is terrible. Yeah. Jag, if you're listening, you need to step up your uh, quality control. This is insane. I have to, like, I have to give it to my tech about twice a week just to make sure this thing still works. 
And I have mine HPA tap now, so there's that. I mean, it works fine on HPA tap, but it took a technician to completely seal it closed so it doesn't leak anymore. And it's not like it's an easy fix leak like somewhere down here where the holds the, holds the gas. No, it's up in the breach. It just overshoots the gas, just expands. It's crazy. Yeah, and these are these are cheaper than TM. Yeah, they are cheaper, but. Full they're metal. still, yeah, and they're full metal, which is good. And the build quality overall externally feels nice. But they're still 175 bucks. Right. And when I'm paying $175 for a gun, I don't want to have it break on day one or come broken. That is simply unacceptable. Sorry. That's just, the guns don't work well, at least not consistently. Mm -hmm. And when you're gambling with whether or not a gun is going to work... I just can't recommend it. You have about a 50-50 chance with the scatter guns. You might work, it might not work. The pump might pump or the gas might hold. Sorry, I don't know what to tell you. That's just the experiences we've had. We've had four of them. Yeah, so unfortunately, we can't really say anything more about the scatter guns. I was trying to get some B-roll for a shooting test. I was trying to show off how the gun works mm -hmm. and that happened and I can't. So. I'm sorry this is a bad review, both in terms of not having much footage and in terms of not being able to recommend the product, but that's on you, Jag. Your product doesn't work. I'm sorry. Uh, my opinion, save your money by a TM. Yep. I can't recommend the Jag. It's just not a good gun. No. Even buy one of the SEMA spring try shots. <laughs> even those are better if you want full metal. Or the GMP ones. I know they're high FPS and they're great for outdoors, but even that's better than these. Yeah, and they're single shot, yeah. but they work. <laughs> so... All right, uh, with that depressing episode out of the way, once again, I've been E-House. I'm Amy. And that was Speed Sim. Sorry Sad. for your luck, Jag. Sorry. Fucking Christ. Uh, it's so hot. Why? <laughs> Why is it this hot? It's your field. You're supposed to control the weather. <laughs> Fuck yo. But if you've ever shot a real pump action shotgun, you know that that's supposed to be a smooth experience unless you bought a Remington Express, in which case I'm sorry. <laughs> but I, I, actually, oh my God, it's a perfect replica. <laughs> they're based on Remingtons. No wonder they're shit. <laughs>